We want to get it out to the public because it's something that we take very seriously. Whether it's somebody out there trying to play police, which is very dangerous for them and for the motoring public, or if it's somebody that has you know, other criminal motives uh, in mind. The Hardin County Sheriff's Department put a post on Facebook earlier asking for help to track down an older model gold Chrysler. Allegedly this vehicle has a uh, white and yellow light on the front sun visor and in the rear glass has red and blue lights. The sheriff says a vehicle matching that description stopped a driver Monday evening along US 62, not far from Hardin Central High School. The sheriff says the driver was not harmed or robbed during the incident, but people who live in the area were troubled by the phony police work. Uh, I know a lot of the police officers that, that work here both in E-Town and in Radcliffe, so you generally know even, even if you are pulled over, you probably know who it is that's pulling you over. We're supposed to respect the cops and everything and stop and do everything like that. And with a car set up to maybe potentially look like a cop car, you, you know, the right thing to do is stop and all that, but now you're putting yourself in danger. The sheriff says if you get pulled over and you're not certain about the person who stopped you, the safest thing to do is to call 911. Reporting in Hardin County, Matthew Rand, WOKY News. The sheriff says they do not have a suspect as of right now. Anyone with information is asked to give the sheriff's department a call.